depending on the time you guys are watching this video so <laughs> let me just start laughing on today's video is some story time story time about the first time I went for an interview for a job in Nairobi and got lost in the morning going to an interview okay so my name is Mugoni Jenga I'm a young mom I talk about faith family business and and lifestyle so on today's video is just a random vlog and story time. So <laughs> it's in the year of um, 2015. Yeah, I think it's 2015. It was actually the first time I was going to look for a job in Nairobi, the big city. So my cousin finally finds a job that suits me, being that I'm in college that time trying to study and get a job and all that so i got a job as an as a personal assistant to someone they knew i was in school so they were ready to like grow with me and learn while i learn from them and as i continue with my school so i'm told that i'm supposed to report to the office and I, on a certain monday morning at, at i think it was at 7 or 7 38 there about first uh, i was not familiar with nairobi no one is ever familiar with nairobi after you're fresh out of high school not unless, not unless you are a very frequent visitor back in the day so i make my way i wake up in the morning prepare myself i'm with my mom that time in the morning we prepare ourselves and then we leave a few minutes before 6 a.m in the morning so that I can be able to get a bus that is going to take me to Nairobi and I'm going to make sure Sita Chelewa that is I'll, I'll be there on time. So we leave the house and we make our way to the stage, we get a car and we go. Okay, <laughs> there are ways that you can get to Nairobi that is. If you're coming through a Yaki way like we were that morning or like I was because mom brushed to the direction she was going to, I was left alone in the bus going to Nairobi. When you're going to Nairobi, there are two ways that you can get to Nairobi, or three, depending on the ones that were used back then. There was one path that goes through the Museum Road. It's actually called the Museum Road. And there's another on the University Way. Now, personally, I was aware. I was aware of the University Way. <laughs> because the office that I was going to, it's actually opposite University of Nairobi in town. It's an office at the Ambank House. So, that morning, unfortunately, the bus, instead of going through University Way, there is so much traffic and the driver decides to go through the museum road. This time, I'm going through a path that I've never seen, a path that I'm not very, very familiar with. And already I'm shocked. But I'm like... Ah. It's okay, we'll find our ways. And also there was this thing that we were told, you don't ask directions around anyone. People can mislead you, you can be stolen, people can rob you, you can get grabbed and get kidnapped. So we were very cautious that time, asking around. It still happens right now, but you know the right kind of people to ask. So the bus goes through university, uh, I mean Museum Road, and it gets to Nairobi, the CBD. By the time we get to the CBD, I've alighted at an area I have no clue. It was the other side of archives. <laughs> right now, I just go through that path and I'm like, okay. Um, actually, it's like opposite the Ambassador Hotel, Apochini Kidogo Archives. On the, I, I think Ikuapo, the end of archives, let me call it that. But on this other side of Tomboya Street. So, being there... I have no clue which side I'm supposed to be going to. And then I think probably I should go back to how they... I don't even know what I decided that time, but instead of looking for a way or asking a driver or a conductor how I should get to the university way, I just turned from where I was and started walking south. Okay, I was supposed to walk this way, but I started walking this way, down towards Tomboya Street, and I was supposed to join Moya Avenue so that I can be able to go and 
find the university we're building and all that. All the arm bank house. Mstana katembea. Ni katembea and I walked, walked, walked. I started seeing market, people selling things like skumas, uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes, arrowroot. And I'm like, okay, where am I? It got to a point, I moved around, it's 7, uh, around 15. I was supposed to be in the office by 7.30. And it's headed to 7.30 and I have no clue where I am. So at that particular point, I think of calling my cousin, the one who had directed me to the job. I call her and tell her, hi, I think I'm lost and I don't know where I am. How can I get my way back to university? She asks me, where are you? I'm like, I don't know. What street do you, do you see around you? I don't know. She went like, just look around and see a building that you can see and read the name of that building. I do remember up to this day because I saw a building that was called Wakulima. She was in bed actually. She had not left the house. But the minute to Aliskia ni mesema Wakulima, Aliamka. You could just hear from her voice. She was asleep, but now she's very, very awake. She went like, Guy, Mudoni Uko Railways. I'm like, okay, is that a bad thing? <laughs> she goes like, can you be able to find your way from where you are? I'm like, no. Try and look when you make kuja ujaribu kurudi. You try and come back from where you are and come back uptown. You hook or downtown and you're very, very far from the, from the city, as in from where you're supposed to be going. I start taking my pads. I walk, 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 walk. The next minute I find myself in the same, same place where I was calling from. To some point, I was lost and I didn't know where to go. I remember I think I asked a certain lady who was selling um, fruits and vegetables and all that. And I asked her, I think I'm lost and I'm trying to go back to university. She laughed, like literally, Ali Cheha. She was like, guy, nani alikuleta I was like, it's me, but I was trying to look for the way. She now told me use this path and go straight. Don't figure any corners, just go straight, go straight and you'll see when you talk okay. here. So with that, I tried to walk. It's already 7.30. We are headed to 8. I was supposed to be in the office for an interview at 8, at 7.30. I walked towards the path that lady told me to use. I walked, walked, walked. And to a point I saw a roundabout that is in a place called Globe. Globe Cinema. It's a roundabout that you used to get to Nairobi through the university where, where the path from the university where the museum road comes to meet. It's at an area called the Globe Roundabout. So I walked and found the Globe. From where I found the Globe, actually it was on a highway. Nearly decide, come rain, come sunshine, I'm not going in those inside paths again. I'm using the highway. I walked through the highway all the way where Ambank is and you can imagine from Globe roundabout ukivuka tu barabara you're getting to a place unavuka unapanda unapanda until I got to where Ambank house was when I got there I called the guy and they told me how I'm supposed to go to the office and I got to the office the minute I just got in and sat down the one who was supposed to give me the interview got in he was actually late also so he just got in and was like hey Olisha Afrika and I'm like eh. Hey, he had no clue I just got in. But anyway, probably he found out later on because of the CCTV cameras and all that. So I got to the office, we talked, and I was like, okay, let's start. But, this, the, but the person who I was supposed to work for as a PA was not there for like two days. And, and on the third day, he came. When he came, let me tell you guys, this is something, I lost a job on something very petty. And also, do, I don't know if I should call upon employers and also people who are looking for jobs, learn to do the most easiest things. Something like editing an email and send it, sending it. Because that time I got the interview and I passed for the job. But like two, three days later, I lost the job because of sending an email. Can you imagine? I never sent the email as it was supposed to be sent. The guy wanted me to forward an email that I had received. That email, the minute I forwarded it, I had no clue on how to send emails. I'm straight from school. We've not yet learned how to operate this Gmail and Yahoo and all that. So by the time I forwarded my email, I forwarded it and didn't clear who the email it had, it had come from. If I'm forwarding an email, it's supposed to look like I've sent it from my pool. Not it has come from someone else's pool. Now this time I had no clue how to clear someone else's pool and bring the email to look like it's mine. 
So I sent this guy the email with the whole message from the other person and all their details and all their dates and everything that had come to that email from. And the minute that guy received the email, he went like, what is this? I don't want this chick in this office again. Look for another PA. And that is how I lost that job, my first job in Nairobi. Because of something very petty, something that I should have learned. Or if it was a patient person, of course, he had been told I'm in school. I'm just from high school and I'm in school. It's someone who would have, who would have given me, this is what you should have done. Because later on, when I left that office and went, I went to my cousin's office after some time and she told me, but hey, this email, this is how you should have sent it. If this guy was patient enough to tell me, this is how you should have sent this email, probably I would have worked with them longer. But also, young people or any person who's coming from school and you're expecting to look for a job, don't go into an office blank with no idea of what you're doing. Learn some few things. How to send an email, how to like attach a document in an email, how to like forward an email, how to share to several people and some other things, how to operate a computer, how to yani basically admin stuff in the office. Please familiarize yourself with all these things because utapata you're losing a job because of something very petty something very small so <laughs> that's how i got lost in Nairobi. and i think from then i never ever got lost again never ever got lost again because even though i got lost i used to find my way back because i was not familiar because from there i later got another job but it was not inside nairobi it was in westlands and then mombasa road and then I went back now to Nairobi officially and I was like there all the time until um, 2019. That's when I completely left the 8 to 5 kind of hustle. But let's always get to learn something new. If you see something or someone around you doing something that you might not know or you might want to get interested in learning, ask them. Because these small things are the ones that make us probably lose a job opportunity or lose something. And also, for the ones who are preparing to go to Nairobi, my friends, you can protect us. I can use it, Jali. You'll get your way. And the minute you get lost for the first time, you'll not get lost again. And you'll find your way around. I know there are so many people who have probably experienced that, getting lost in a certain city when you're going to work. But we always come out as conquerors. So you guys, share your experiences and also share uh, how you got lost on your own time. And all that good stuff subscribe like and share and also subscribe uh follow my instagram is mudoni j mudoni underscore jenga dot j that is my instagram handle and follow follow uh follow my instagram subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the no notification bell so by the time i drop a new video you guys are, are going to be alerted and you're going to see thank you for watching and bye